uh, he was like, that's impossible. So I look over my shoulder at him because he's standing in the doorway. <coughs> and I said, uh, I said, uh, why you say that? He said his exact words. He said, we got the kid to be at that. I looked at him. I said, impossible. He said, why you say that? I said, because I did that. Now, prior to this, I had, you know, hadn't been willing to go down this road or nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when, when, when a grown man locks up a 14-year-old kid for murder, Right. You know, he can't call him a man. He couldn't say, you know, his his his, his natural instinct wouldn't allow him to say, we got the guy, we got the nigga, we got the man. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't say none of that. He said, we got the kid. Knowing he got a child. Kid, let me know. Let me know that it was actually a child. And, and, and if anybody was around him, I'm saying when he was 14 years old, he came off as a child. Mm-hmm. Um, got some, uh, some learning defects. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that at that time, I don't know where he is now, but at that time, put him behind the eight wall. Um, I bumped into him a few times in the county, and he seems to be he seems to be slow. Mm-hmm. Um, whether he acknowledged that or not is, is a different story. But I've I've had conversations with him. So uh, he uh, so so when I said impossible, he said you know he said why well, I said because I did that. He said, if you did it, you should be able to tell me something can't nobody else tell me. Mm-hmm. I said, the neighbor shot at me. And I guarantee you, he never should let nobody else again in his life. So when I, once I said that, by this point, I'm, I'm standing in front of the sink, and he's directly behind me, and I'm, I'm looking at him in the mirror, mm-hmm. and I see in his face that he knew, without a doubt, that so I was the person responsible. His expression, that moment on, his expression changed. His expression, he never, he, it, it, 100%, he mm-hmm. knew it. He knew it. I mean, they, see, see, when I ended up, so I'm, I'm gonna get to it. So, so he never said anything else to me from that moment on. Not one single word. <laughs> there was a point in time where he, you know, through my whole crop, court process, he got on the elevator with my lawyer and he told my lawyer to tell me, like, man, don't tell him not to say he did that. Like they, you know, in between him, Kim Worthy, the Star Sergeant Tober, they did everything in their in they, in they power to make sure that this didn't come to light, to make sure that you know that this didn't didn't get 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 didn't get brought up. And so uh, the um, his lawyers, the Monte's lawyers, when they would come see me, one of the things, and even my lawyer, they would always ask me, like, I don't understand how he knew where these bodies were at if he wasn't in that house. It's not making sense. You got to explain to us, like, you know, how he knew where these bodies were at, how he knew. And I used to be telling them, like, I can't explain it. I said, maybe he went in the house after, it was, after everything was done. I said, I can't tell you how he knew. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 